Hello, I'm Pastor Jane Rowe. I serve at South Church in New Britain, Connecticut. I'm doing a series of meditations this Lent on some of the difficult experiences that we have in this life. And today's theme is blessed are those who are lonely. I'm using blessings from a book called The Lives We Actually Have by Kate Bowler and Jessica Ritchie. And I found in one of them these lines. Allow our eyes to see the small sealed space where pain has isolated us. I do think that that describes how it feels when we are lonely, when we are sealed off from others, where our pain of some kind, be it emotional or physical, psychological, uh, experiential, in any way, we feel cut off from other people. We feel that nobody understands, and perhaps we feel that even God does not understand. But I was led also to these verses from Psalm 62. For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be strength shaken. And I began to think about that sealed space where we can feel isolated as being reimagined as the fortress of God surrounding us. We may feel very closed in, but what if we imagine that we are closed into the surrounding walls of God protecting us, sheltering us, that it is God in that space with us that can help us feel less alone. One of the things that I find so comforting in the Christian faith is that Jesus experienced all of what it means to be human. All of those things we feel he knows from living this life. And I would recall with you his experience in the Garden of Gethsemane. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 through 38, we hear this Jesus experience. Then Jesus went with them, his disciples, to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter, and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John. And he began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. We know, many of us, that that story goes on with Jesus going into prayer, and when he comes back to those three disciples, finds them asleep, and that happens several times. They could not stay awake with him, even though he specifically asked them to. Jesus longed to feel accompanied in his pain, and yet he felt alone. He knows what it is for us when we feel alone, when we feel that no one understands, that no one is accompanying us, that no one can. And indeed, no human being can fully and completely understand another person's experience. 
or feelings. We each have our own perspective, our own set of experiences that have shaped us uniquely. But scriptures assure us that God does understand and that God is with us. And I would call to mind that most beloved of Psalms, the 23rd Psalm, that affirms that even in the valley of the shadow of death, even in the deepest darkness we can encounter, God is with us, God shepherds us, we are not alone. In those lonely moments, I pray that these words of scripture might be of comfort. And I ask that you listen as I read the whole of the blessing from which I read just a portion at the beginning. It is called, For When Hope Seems Lost. Hope is only a half-remembered dream behind a closed door. All is lost. God, this reality is a current so strong, I feel certain, at least for now, that it will sweep us all away. Could you bless this honesty that feels like despair? Can we whisper that somehow blessed are we with spirits starved for what is good? Allow our eyes to see the small sealed space where pain has isolated us. We cry, God, help me. I can't break out of this, so please break in. Cut through the walls of this hard prison and flood it with the light of your presence. Make prayer as natural as breathing to release to you all that I know and think and feel and inhale deeply some of your goodness and strength. Blessed are we when we realize that suddenly, already, you never leave. You insisted on breathing life and hope and truth into my lungs, filling everything until the pain dissolves and I am free to move in faith again. Blessed are we who have a glimmer of certainty that in that dark expanse and as sure as day follows night, hope returns. P.S. Take a deep breath. Let a yawn come and another. See what new thing begins all by itself. Know that God is with you on your journey this Lent. Thanks be to God. Amen.